Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Danny Ray. Uh, this is a very special episode that I am doing. Uh, I am cooking beef short ribs uh, for one of our very best friends, Miss Teresa Bradley. Uh, it's long overdue. I was going to cook them for her birthday a year ago. Unfortunately, COVID set in and we all got weirded out. Uh, so this episode is in fact dedicated to Miss Teresa. Miss Teresa, love you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Danny Ray. Tonight I am cooking one of my favorite dishes for two of my favorite people. My love, Miss Judith Gibbons, and I, one of our very best friends, Teresa Bradley. This is a long overdue gift for Teresa for her birthday, which I should have done a year ago, but unfortunately COVID stepped in. Uh, just to look at some of the ingredients involved in this episode, yeah, take a look at those beef short ribs. Holy moly, they are beautiful. And to the left, you got onions. Behind that, you got celery, shallots, garlic. You got carrots on the left, a little olive oil, some beef broth. Uh, that is a can of pretty decent wine, although it comes in a can. Uh, and, uh, and then you've got green onions for garnish. And I'm going to be serving that on a bed of, to the far right here, uh, those are Carolina grits. Uh, and I'll be serving them on a bed of Carolina grits. Uh, and then for green, uh, Judy insisted that we have some green involved. Uh, I got some beautiful asparagus that I'm going to be uh, sauteing up. Uh, and uh, we'll be doing another adventure of cooking with Danny Ray. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Hi folks, um, the first step in this process, uh, we're gonna need to brown these short ribs. Uh, and uh, it's about oh, two or three, four minutes aside maybe, uh, but it takes a few minutes to get that done. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Uh, and I will come back in just a couple minutes and we'll show you how the process goes from there. Hi guys, uh, you were back cooking with Danny Ray and I thought I would just give you a quick glimpse of this. Uh, this is the searing process for the short ribs, all done in the Instant Pot on its saute function. Uh, this is one of the easiest meals in the world and one of the best meals in the world. Hang tight, I'll be back. Okay, and just so you can see the process, I just flipped them from the first side and you can take a look there and just see that it's just a nice brown on that side. Uh, and that is kind of the process when you're getting these things seared and ready to go. Um, so I, like that, I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of it, but uh, I'll be back to show you when I start putting the good stuff together. All right, folks, we are back cooking with Danny Ray. Now look, uh, take a look at this. I have, uh, I have gotten these all browned and everything. Uh-huh. So it's time to move on to the next phase of this operation, which is getting the supporting cast into the pool, so to speak. And I'm about to start doing that right now. All right, hey, uh, here we are. Uh, I have been letting vegetables saute here, by the way. Yep, how about that? Uh, pretty cool. Uh, so now um, I'm getting ready to deglaze this pan uh, with a couple of different things, actually. One of which is going to be red wine. And you'll notice I just popped the top on a can. Nowadays, you can even get decent red wine in a can. This is uh, 14 hands hot to try. So let's pour a bunch of that in here. There we go. And the other thing I'm going to be deglazing with is beef broth. And we put actually quite a bit of beef broth in here. just to be the right amount, I think. And here, oops, dropped my cap there. All right, so here's what I would tell you. At this point, uh, and this pan, by the way, I would, I, I mentioned again, I say this every time, uh, this Instant Pot stainless steel pan gets very, very hot. Uh, do not touch this thing with your bare hands. You will not be very pleased. Uh, and I'm gonna stir this around. I'm gonna get up all those little bits that were on the bottom to be sure they get blended in here. Now, here's the fun part. All these nicely browned ribs that we did get to go back in the Instapot. And there's two. And there is three. And there is four. And number five, right here. 
And those are all being cooked on this wonderful bed of vegetables, beef broth, and wine. And by the way, I threw in some thyme. I forgot to mention that to you. Uh, but uh, now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover the Instapot up here, snap the lid shut. We're going to cancel the saute function. Uh, we're going to be sure this is on lockdown mode. And I'm going to put pressure cook. And we are going to cook these bad boys for 48 minutes. Uh, and here's what I would tell you. I would normally only cook them for about 45, but these happen to be exceptionally big. Uh, the butcher cut these for me specially. Uh, I didn't even realize that they would do that at a Safeway grocery, but they do. Uh, so these are exceptionally good ribs. So it's on, you know the deal. Uh, it's gonna go up to 55, I mean to 48. It'll start counting down. Uh, and when it counts down, it's gonna get a little L on it and it'll start counting up. And I'm gonna let it naturally release for about 15 minutes or so. So hang on and you can come back and watch more Cooking with Danny Ray. Hey folks, um, welcome back to Cooking with Danny Ray. Uh, the beef short ribs are doing their thing. Uh, they, this At that point, it's a no touch. Uh, the Instant Pot does everything. So I'm gonna sh briefly show you how I do grits, okay? Now this is a combination of equal parts of water, chicken broth, and half and half with about a half a stick of butter in it. And I'm getting ready to bring that up to a boil and then I will add an equal part of grits. Uh, I watch them very carefully. I stir them constantly. And as they start to thicken up, I add a little bit more either chicken broth or half and half, whichever I feel like doing. Uh, and that is how I cook grits. I'll show you the finished product later. Hi folks, uh, and we are back briefly with Cooking with Danny Ray. Uh, the short ribs are working in the Instapot. Hands off, don't do a thing, it's great. Uh, grits are over here getting ready to start working. And the last part of this meal, which is unbelievably good, uh, I am going to roast some uh, asparagus spears, uh, which seem to be plentiful uh, in this area right now. I'm gonna roast some asparagus spears. Uh, I have tossed them in olive oil with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Uh, and I'll be roasting them at about 400 degrees for just a few minutes. It won't take very long. I like my asparagus to say crispy. And thank you for watching Cooking with Danny Ray. Hi. Um, and welcome back to Cooking with Danny Ray. This is a bit of an unusual segment for me. Uh, normally at the end of a project, I sort of show you how things come out of the pot and how they look and all that good stuff. Um, and the difference this time was I wasn't cooking for camera. Uh, I was cooking for real people. Uh, and I wanted to get things plated up and out so we could eat dinner. Um, and and here's here's the finishing deal. Uh, once the Instapot was done, I took the ribs out. They were fall off the bone tender. Uh, and I put them on a plate out of the way. I took all of the stuff that was in the Instapot and I ran it through a strainer so that I only kept the liquid. Uh, I took that liquid and I put it on the stove and I cooked it down uh, until it condensed quite a bit. Uh, I then added some, I don't know if you're familiar with Kitchen Bouquet. It's kind of a browning liquid. Makes for great gravies and sauces. Uh, I also added cornstarch to thicken it up a little bit. Uh, it worked beautifully. And right at the very end, I threw in a couple of pats of butter. And uh, butter gives a sauce like that a really, really nice sheen. Uh, I then took the, uh, the ribs and I put them back in the sauce so that they could warm back up. And at that point, basically, I plated it all up on a bed of garlic grits, which turned out beautifully, by the way. Uh, I put the rib on, I put some demi-glaze on, I added the roasted asparagus that I had mentioned to you, uh, and then I put some sauce over. Uh, it was it, it was wonderful. I mean, it was beyond wonderful. Uh, and here's what I'd tell you. I'm getting ready to show you a couple of pictures of the finished product, uh, but I want to take a second and thank you guys for watching Cooking with Danny Ray.